This is photo stage tutorial number two. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow and insert video. The first thing we need to do is to load our media files. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my photos. And to do that, I am not going to use add photos here, but I am going to go up to slideshow. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on add folder. Now my folder defaulted here. You will probably have to use the browse button to find your folder where you keep the pictures that you're going to use for the slideshow. So I am going to click select. If I simply go down and click create, it will use all of the files in the folder, but I only want to select one file. And I'll tell you why I want to do that later. So I'm going to click select, and you see all of the photos are checked. We want to unselect those. We want to select none. And then I'm just going to click one image. It doesn't make any difference which. And click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a theme. And the reason for using a theme is because, I'm going to use elegant. When you use a theme, you are given a title slide and an ending slide. In the last tutorial, we typed here, but I am not going to do that now. I'm going to do it later. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click Create. All right, so here we have <clears throat> our title slide, the one slide image, and the ending slide. And by the way, when you choose the photos that you're going to use and you put them into a folder, Use high-res images. Don't, uh, don't resize them so that they're of a smaller resolution. The reason for that is when PhotoStage creates the final video, it actually compresses the JPEG image quite a bit. And if it's low resolution, uh, the images will come out not very detailed. Okay, one other thing that I prefer, you can see here there is a background. This is the title slide. But the rest of the slides are going to have a background similar to that. And I would prefer no background, and I would prefer the image to fill up the whole screen. If you noticed in the tutorial number one, the images had a black border around every single one, and I personally don't care for that. So in order to eliminate that from happening, I'm going to go over here and highlight the middle slide. And if I delete that slide, by pressing the delete button. I take that out of there. Now when I add images into the slideshow, they will not have that black background and the border around the images. So now we want to bring the rest of the photos in. And here now I can use the add photos button. I will click that. And again, my file folder has defaulted to uh, my pictures where I have for this particular tutorial. So in order to bring them in, I am going to click and highlight the first image, go down to the last image, hold down the shift key, click the left mouse button, and then click open. That will bring all the images into my media tray. So let's go ahead and add my videos. If I click on videos, again, I've come up to the default, and I'm going to click the videos that I want to load. And so I'm going to use, I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to hold down the control key and click. I'm going to select just certain ones. And this one, this one, and this one. Click open. So I'm bringing in four video files. All right. And then I'm going to add my music file. And here is the music file that I want. As it turns out, this is about two and a half minutes long. Now, I have uh, about 30 slides, and I have uh, four videos. And if you calculate that out, I think that's around four seconds or four and a half seconds apiece. Uh, so that works out just about right for a two and a half minute show. Okay, so the first thing uh, we want to bring in are our slides. Uh, this is an MP4. This is a slide, the JPEG. 
And so I want to highlight that, and I'm going to go down to the last JPEG slide, which would be right here. Again, hold down the Shift key, left click, and now I can just drag those down, and I'm going to put them right in the middle between the title slide and the end slide. And there we are. Okay, from here, now they came in in a random order. And from here, you can reorder your slides if you wish. I'm looking at these, and they look to be pretty good just where they are. For some reason, I noticed uh, we have two slides here that I really don't want. So I am going to uh, take those out of there. Highlight one, press the control key, click, and hit the delete key, and they're gone. All right, I have brought all of those in. Now you notice the image here in the title slide. Now I don't really care for that. I think I'd rather have this image instead of that image. I think this is more um, typical of New Orleans. So I'm going to highlight the title slide, and we're going to modify that. Once it's highlighted, you can go up here to edit. Click edit. Click the image overlay. And click the three little dots here so that we can browse. And I click that. Now I actually have to uh, drill down through my folders to get to the picture that I want. And so we're going down to Tutorial 2, going into Pictures, and now I'm going to choose this picture right here. So I will click, open, and the picture has changed. Now I also want to change my slide text. So if I come here and click Text Overlay, here is where I can add my new text. Uh, just a caution, the text color is white, the background is white. You can imagine what that does. Uh, you cannot see when you're typing what you're typing. <laughs> I think that's a bug in the program. But anyway, uh, so I want to type in new text. So I want to delete the text that's there. So I am going to highlight it, press the delete key, and now I can type in my new title. Sights and Sounds in New Orleans. Now, I would rather have this on top than on the bottom. So if I click the up arrow key, that will move that to the top. Okay, again, I am going to highlight my text. And I just want to show you that if you wish, you can make the size of the text bigger. If you had a single line, the larger text would be fine. But I have two lines. So I think uh, the size that it was at was probably pretty good. So we're good to go there. Next, what we need to do is go back to media, and we need to drop in each of the videos that we want. So I'm going to come down here to my videos, and I am going to... Uh, move them down. I believe I'll use this one first. I like to use, oh, I don't know, two or three slides in between each video. So I'm going to make it four. There's one video. The next video we'll use uh, this one. Another one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we need a, um, a third and a fourth video. And these two videos, I'm going to want side by side. And there's a reason for that that you'll see later. Okay, I put those side by side. Okay. Now we have all of our videos in there, but you will notice each of the videos is quite long. This one's nine minutes long. This is 35 seconds, 36 seconds, 
they're all long. So what we need to do is we need to trim those videos down. So I'm going to go to the first video that I included. This one is 38 seconds. Double click on the video and it brings up an edit window for the video. Over here on the uh, end, get that red line out of the way, there's a little handle here and if you move that we can move the start location of the slide. I'm going to move it up to about, oh, right here. It's about six, almost seven seconds. Then I'm going to go over here to the other side. And I'm going to bring that down. I want, oh, five seconds or so, maybe six seconds of video. And so if we bring that down to about uh, 12 seconds, I bring it back up a little bit and uh, what I am looking at is right here I'm looking at these the start time is 6.7 the end time is 11.9 so it's just a little bit less than um, five seconds I could actually bring this up a little bit the black handle Okay, that's pretty good. Click apply. All right, I need that for the rest of the videos, so I'll go do that. All right, I've added all the videos, I've trimmed all the videos, and I've added the music track at the bottom. So, the next thing to do is let's look at the sound bar at the bottom. I'm going to move all the way to the end. Let's see how we are. It looks like the sound or the music uh, is lasting longer than the slides. So there's a pretty easy fix for this. If I right click on the sound bar and then down here it says fit slides to audio track duration. If I click on that, which I will do, and I'm going to change the lengths of the slides. Now this changes the display length of the pictures only. It does not change the videos that have been trimmed. So now what it's done is it has matched the exact timing to the slides that are there. The next problem to address is that of the slide sound and the music sound both playing at the same time. So the way we're going to do that is to mute the music track while the uh, slide sound is playing. And that's pretty easy to do. If I double click on the soundtrack right here, it brings up my sound editor. And on each side of the sound editor are handles. And I can move these handles. This moves the, uh, the starting point. I can move these handles and I can clip the sound just like I do the video. So my first video is right here. If I grab this handle and I move it down, you'll notice as I black out the sound, you can see at the bottom as I move this handle that that clips the sound. So I'm going to move it right here to the start of this video. Then if you look up into the sound editor where my cursor is, I'm going to click on this blue bar. The blue bar signifies the volume. All right. So I've uh, put a handle there and I'm going to take the, the bottom handle. I'm going to move that so that I'm at the end of the video clip and I'm going to place another handle there. Okay. Now I'm going to get this out of the way. All right, I'm going to place two more handles, one here and one here. And this blue line is the volume level. So I'm going to pull the volume level down here and down here. Now the volume level is normal. As we increase the time, we come to this point and then the volume level tapers off and it tapers off here. Now we can look down here and you can see where the volume level tapers off. And right here, I want to taper that a little more. So I'm going to move this oh, about over here. 
that looks pretty good. This one, uh, the sound starts coming up too quick, so I'm going to move this handle over about here, actually, a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to move this over, and then this over a little more. I like where that's at. So now if I play this, and let's see if you can hear it, I'll turn the volume up. Okay, I am going to start right here at the start of the uh, video. First I have to apply, and then let's see how the sound fades in here. Okay, that sounds pretty good. One thing I found is that my video recorder, the record volume of the sound is not as loud as it should be. So that can be adjusted. If I right click on the video, I can come up here and I can adjust the clip volume, which I am going to click on that. And I'm going to bring this up until you see the red. I want to bring it up until I can see just a little bit of red. And that will increase the uh, the sound volume. All right. So we have adjusted the fade in, the fade out, in the sound volume of this video clip. Now I'm going to go do the rest of them, and I will be back when that is done. Okay, that's about it. I think we're finished with our slideshow. There are a couple of things that can be tweaked. It's pretty good the way that it is. So in the next tutorial, tutorial number three, we'll cover some tweaks and we will cover some of the advanced features that most people don't need to use. They come up here in this area. Uh, some of the edits, the effects animations, uh, and transitions. And we'll cover that, like I said, in tutorial number three.